Hey, Tubi Sherman, I can't hear how I'm going to review the Stars of Pro Wrestling, Kurt Angle. This match, the match, like it starts out, like the match, one match, and then getting into wrestling and stuff. The match happened to be Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe at Genesis 2006. Would he be able to break um, Samoa Joe's streak? Talks about the high spots of the match. And it shows his opponent. And it starts him. He was born on December 9, 1968. He was the youngest of six children. And um, talks about him being on the high school wrestling team and the football team. Said he was an undefeated in high school wrestling his freshman year. And then it shows him wrestling in, in a 1992 NCAA championship fight, or whatever you'd call that. And it talks about him winning. He, Kurt won the Pennsylvania State Wrestling Championship during his senior year of high school. And it talks about him almost giving up wrestling. Um, Kurt's next step for the tryout was to try out for the 1992 Olympic team. Um, he didn't make it. Um, then he was frustrated for the next few years, but he lost many of his matches, but Kurt wasn't used to losing. In 1994, he, he tried out for the Pittsburgh Steelers football team. He had a good tryout, but he wasn't enough to make the team. After that, he, he returned back to wrestling. And then Kurt Angle's father... Well, this is a big, a big loss. Was a crane operator, and then when Kurt's father um, was injured in an accident, and then died two days later, Kurt's father's death inspired him to become an Olympic champion, and then the gold medalist, and then um, he won the Olympic medal. Um, well, it says. Kurt's training helped him win a world championship in 1995. He also won a chance to compete in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia. It talks about the Olympics. And then it said Abash Jadidi. He wrestled him. They were tied one to one in overtime. Um. Then they just. Uh, Judges said whoever would win, or it came down to the three referees, and they decide Kurt would win. That guy, the Jetty guy, Jadidi guy, thought he would win, and then he, the ref held, held both your hands, and he rose his hand, and the ref put his hand down and rose Kurt Angles because the guy tried to act like he won. And then a pain in the neck. It said three months before the Olympics, Kurt broke his neck. He had broken two vertebrae and two discs. And it's poking in his spinal cord. And then ev before every match, a doctor gave him 12 shots in the neck to numb the pain. It was very dangerous, but Kurt was determined to wrestle in the Olympics. And it talks about him doing motivational speeches and interviewing on TV and asked a sponsor. And then Kurt's Olympic let him join an offer to join the WBF. Kurt turned down the offer. He didn't think pro wrestling required true wrestling skills, but a few later he decided to rethink his decision. In 1999, Kurt tried out for the WWF. And then um, he got put in his first... He got a contract on his second day, and on his fourth match, he was put in a match against Christian. It talks about the three eyes, right, stardom, and... Uh, Intensity, integrity, and intelligence. Most fans didn't like him because he would act like he was smarter and stronger. And then Kurt's second appearance was filmed in Pittsburgh. He wore the 21 medals to come out. And then they thought he was like a show off. And didn't like him. And then in 2001, it says he won the hardcore title, the WCW title, WWF title, and the WCW United States title. He joined the Alliance. And in 2002, it said in the final match of 2002, he helped the WWF win against the Alliance. Why does it say 2002?
was 01, because the 2002 Survivor Series was the Elimination Chamber, not the Invasion one. And then he had a hair versus hair match, and it talked about that, and then Kurt eventually won it out in 2006, it was released. Planned to rest, but then he was surprised by joining TNA. And it comes back to the match at Genesis. And then when it showed, it says he made Kurt tap out and broke Samoa Joe's winning streak. And Kurt um, would win the man, the King of the Mountain match at Slumber Rushy 2007. When it talks about that match. And then it talks about him winning the gold in 2007. Like, he won the X Division, WWE, the, not the tag team title, and world heavyweight title. And then it talks about what the future holds and him writing a book. This one was pretty good. I think this one's the best so far. But, yeah, they give this one a 7.5 out of 10. And, because they're, they're not really that good, they're sort of short. And, but, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, bye.